Hey guys, Nick Angelina, and I'm standing with Manuel, who's going to tell us a little bit about his product. Hi, how are you? Well, this is a three-dimensional technology, and we're the first company to offer the whole integration system going from the acquisition, which is the camera, the computer-generated content or video games, the processing, and the display and visualization of the, of the image. We do that in a three-dimensional fashion, three, through three-dimensional, and we're providing high definition resolution, which is, uh, is very interesting for a very small display. So we have 720p with an equivalent size of a 72 inches screen diagonal, which is, which is great. You will never be able to take that portable and at a fraction of the cost. Now, we have multi-purpose applications, so you can use that for video gaming, for entertainment. You can go with the camera, capture your own videos in 3D, and then download them on the computer and see them in 3D and enjoy. Now, the interesting thing is that we're the only company that created all the parts from ground up. It's completely different 3D. None of the other 3D technologies does the same, with, the same way we do it. And we have uh, eliminated completely the side effects, the distortion. We have eliminated the, the drawbacks and the problems of not being compatible with 3D. Because as you can see, right now she's looking at the information in 3D while I am looking at the same video in 2D. So this is the first compatible 2D, 3D technology out there. TV Vision is the only one. Nobody else has it. And uh, we already are selling to the military, the medical, universities, training, simulation systems. And uh, we are part of the Intel Software uh, Partner Team. We're also research associates with SolidWorks. And we have created a TDV Alliance, which is a, a group of companies that are committed to, the support, to support the adoption of our technology. Thus creating all this uh, momentum that we're getting. Uh, we have been very lucky so far with our uh, business. And we're now targeting this consumer electronics uh, field. At this point. Does this have the potential to revolutionize gaming? Yes, you can say that. Now, look, if you think about the games, the video games, all the video gamers, game publishers, and, and the game consoles, they all, they all are trying to make their games more realistic. You know, they work on the textures, they work on the resolution. But what happens? The video gamer is never there. He's never into the game. But when you look at them, they are playing, and they almost, you know, like inside the computer. Well, the interesting thing is that we can really take them into the, into the environment, into the video game, by applying our algorithms. And by using our device with high definition and with this size of, of, of screen, they can even feel like they are inside the game. That's why we're the, very, the, the only company that's out there. And we, yes, you're right. We're planning to revolutionize the video game industry. Okay, now I wear glasses. Do you think this has a potential for to stop? No, 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 no. Let me tell you why. No problem at all. The interesting thing is that with this device, you can adjust the dioptrics right here. You just turn it and you have minus six, plus six dioptrics. So whatever your uh, graduation is, I mean your, your prescription is for the dioptrics, you can adjust it here. And at the same time, so you don't need the glasses. And at the same time, we all are different. We all have a different distance between the eyes or intraocular distance. Well, you can adjust it right here. So this device is suitable for pretty much everybody from kids to people with uh, uh, different kinds of uh, prescriptions. So, well, that's good. And how much does this cost? Well, we're targeting the $500 uh, price line uh, in, Mar in March or April this year. Uh, this is a pre-production unit. We want to target for the final production uh, unit in March, and that's going to lower down the price a lot because right now we're working, you know, with low volumes and things. So whenever we get to a better uh, volume, that's going to allow us to go lower down the price. Okay, well, Manuel, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, that's me, Nikki Andalini with I4U News, checking out what could possibly revolutionize video games. Stay tuned.